Let's get learned. Okay, so here's some backstory. Uh, I got some, uh, I guess these are almost 20 volt, 3 amp hour batteries for a drill. And the drill let the smoke out and is no good anymore, but the batteries are great. And uh, so, what I'd like to do is step the voltage down from 19 to 12 so I could power some hobby stuff, uh, whether it be your trusty nitro heater or a starter or whatever you can imagine. You could step the voltage down to one and a half and power your glow plug off of this for a very long time because this is basically, I don't know how many are in here, but I don't know, like 24 sub C's that are three amp hours. So that's like 24 glow igniters worth, but the voltage is too high. So uh, we can get one of these things. Um, and what it does is it steps the voltage down to what you determine it to be by turning one of these screws here. So we'll try it out. We'll see if it works. I've done this before, um, but not nothing at a current rating um, high enough for a nitro heater. So this is, I think this is about seven amp hours is kind of the rating for this. And, and so I needed something a little more skookum to take that uh, because it kind of generates quite a bit of heat. So the other ones I were using were for kind of a lower amperage application. So we'll, we'll see how this works. So this is a Craftsman uh, drill uh, and uh, or battery. So what we got to do is, I've already looked at the bottom of the the drill. It only has two in um, prongs in. The other are for charging. Um, and so I just got to figure out. I know it's this one and this one that go that the that actually makes contact with the drill. I'll go grab it and show you. see in there but yeah it's just got those two prongs that grab the battery a uh, positive and a negative terminal and those line up with this one and this one so we'll, we'll figure out the polarity here with using one of these guys which one's positive So, this guy's the positive, because it's a positive number. If we were to flip it around, we get a negative number. Therefore, I'm going to go with this one being positive. So, you don't want to mess the polarity up with this. Um, with these little modules, I think it would be problematic. Okay, we're going to fire up for the first time. Hopefully, uh, I don't see any smoke. I'm definitely an electric chicken. Okay, we got a light. Let's see what it's telling us right now. Um, oh, look at that. We got 15 out. I think it's doing what it's supposed to do. We got 21 in. All right. That might just be close enough. I might not have to tune it too much, but better to be safe. So I'm just going to pause here and get these things stuck in here so this is easier. Okay, we're back. It's plugged in. Um, I'm going to see. I forgot to read the instructions, but I know it's one of these. Um features that you one's for current can control current one controls voltage so let's just, I'm gonna try this one see what happens oh look at that voltage is coming down I'm gonna bring it down to 12.5 
There we go. All right. No smoke yet, so that's good. Let's uh, let's hook up a nitro heater and see what happens. They'll get a. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I'll just uh, make sure I got the polarity right. Positive is red. Negative is black. There we go. Nitro heater engaged. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. No smoke. Excellent. Oh yeah, this thing is working. Oh hell yeah, look at that. Woohoo. Salvaged some pretty expensive batteries. That's pretty sweet. So I just pull that off. Let's try something else. I'm all pumped now. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. How about your starter box? No problem. Thanks for watching. Go send it. And uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to uh, this step down voltage regulator, I believe it's called. I don't think it's a trans. Well, maybe. I don't know. It's, it's some electricery. Um, Somebody smarter than me made this. And uh, yeah, for the price, I would highly encourage you to definitely disconnect the power when it's not being used and be around it when it is in use.